Hi there! Today, we're going to show you how to put your Zwift cog onto your Zwift hub. The only tool you'll need is the wrench that came with your Zwift hub. If you don't have yours, a 17mm or adjustable wrench will work. Of course, you'll also need your Zwift hub and Zwift cog. Let's get going, shall we? First, remove your bike from your trainer. Depending on your axle type, loosen the quick release or remove the through axle. Then push the derailleur, that's the device that shifts gears, out of the way and lift your bike off of the trainer. Next, loosen the Zwift Hub axle adapter on the side with the gears with the wrench. Turn the wrench counterclockwise. Once you've removed the adapter, put it aside. The same goes for the wrench. You will need them again soon. Done with that? Good. Get ready to remove the gears and what's called the free hub. You'll remove both at the same time. To do this, pull the gears away from the trainer. They will slide off of the axle. Be careful where you put the free hub. It will probably have some grease on it. There will be a washer on the axle. Leave the washer in place. We're almost there. It's time for the final steps. Take your Zwift cog and slide it onto your Zwift hub axle. Turn it counterclockwise so that it fully engages with the trainer body. If you hear the free hub click as you turn it counterclockwise, you've done it right. If not, remove the Zwift cog halfway and push back on rotating counterclockwise again. Finally, it's time to replace the axle adapter that you removed. To start, Screw this into place so it's finger tight. Finish by using the wrench or torque wrench. A quarter turn should do it. If you're using a torque wrench, tighten to six Newton meters. That's it, your Zwift cog is installed. Now it's time to put your bike back on the trainer. We recommend using your small chain ring in the front and shifting your rear derailleur to the middle of the range of gears. For instance, if you have 10 gears, shift into gear number five or six. Lower your bike onto the trainer while pushing the derailleur out of the way. Put the dropouts into place and tighten the quick release skewer or through axle. Give it a good jiggle to ensure the bike is secure. Turn the pedals. If you hear a ticking noise or any skipping from the chain, shift up or down to align your derailleur if you need help further adjusting your gears, we have a support article for that. Well done! Now you're ready to ride. See you in Watopia!